All right, and I'm live. Hello again, welcome back. Had a little bit of a zoom up now. There we go, because we're gonna be having a bit of a play with some alcohol inks today. How are you all? How is your day going? How is your Friday? Hello, Elizabeth. All right, so this afternoon, I thought I would have a little bit of a play and make some super easy cards using alcohol inks um, as part of the great international craft show online which is an online craft show because not all of us can get out there to the people um, well, I thought that we would uh, that we'd be involved again and bring the show to you so I'll be doing demonstrations each day and showing you some amazing things using different products um, got some fantastic specials today's specials are acrylic paints which is Dina Wakeley paints art by Marlene paints dilutions paints shimmer and flat paints as well as paper artsy paints um, and they're all 15% off and also alcohol inks which is what I'm going to have a play with now you'll find all the specials online at nataliemay.com.au um, you can also follow me on Instagram and YouTube and um, please join the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community to show you some really, really cool things and ideas and bits and pieces. Hello, Vicky, Naomi, Kirstine, Tracy. Welcome, everyone. I'm not going to go through and do a roll call. <laughs> um, all right, let's talk alcohol inks. Most of you have seen me play with alcohol inks in the past. Alcohol inks are... A, an awesome product that need a couple of special ingredients. Um, alcohol inks work primarily on UPO paper, which is a synthetic plastic-like paper. You can also get alcohol inks to work on photo printing paper and gloss cardstock. That will also work as well. So alcohol inks are highly fragrant, very, very potent. Um, you do need a well-ventilated area. Um, apologies about the state of my hands. I've just noticed that. Um, so the, they're, they're a fast drying dye ink. What happens is the ink goes on, um, the alcohol enables it to move around and then the alcohol evaporates leaving the ink on the papers. So let's have a bit of a play. A couple of things that will make it really handy for when you are wanting to have a play with some alcohol inks is having them out ready with the lids off. I do find that this makes my creating significantly easier uh, and, it, and it just makes things run very smooth. The other thing that you need to have handy is an alcohol ink blending solution. Uh, this is excellent to get the alcohol ink fluid on your surface. Um, I do find that this works better than isopropyl alcohol. I find that this is my personal f um, preference and I do like to, um, to use the blending solution. So I have got I've done a little bit of prep here by just getting out some colours ready to go. So I've got a couple of shades of green and a couple of shades of blue. And just like working with paint, I like to work within the colour wheel with colours that are alongside each other. So let's make a start. Oh, the other thing I have handy is my heat tool. And I have a little blower puffer thingy. It's not the right terminology air cuffer um, to help blow the ink around so oh welcome Kate how are you alrighty so this is what we're going to do I'm going to put some of this clear liquid around my paper then I'm going to start with the lightest color 
and I'm going to quickly and confidently put the color on and you can see what's happening the color is moving around where I put the blending solution so from here I can just use the um, the puffer puffer puffery air blower to move it around and you can see what's happening there's a lot of liquid on there I'm very happy to use a lot of liquid on mine the other thing that you can do is use your heat tool and the gentle air this is my favorite way the gentle air pushes the color around But it can also mix the colours up a little. So you do have to keep your air moving because it is a synthetic paper which means that it is going to melt if you leave the colour in one place for too long. So these are just some very very basic tips. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. I don't find the need to add anything else just yet. I like the idea of Adding a few extra little colours here and there, some highlights. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it aside to dry. So you can see there how it, get a bit of an idea on how it's looking. All right, I'm gonna pop that aside. And it's a messy sport. So I am using my Ranger mat here and down on the floor next to me, I have a, uh, a puppy training pad to catch all of the, any overflow ink. So it's just a big, just to keep my, you know, protect my carpet. All right, so I'm gonna do another one here and I have got geranium, mulberry and amber. I've got three colors here that are gonna work nicely together. So again, I'm just going to get some blending solution down, keeping it simple. And I'm using a generous amount. I'm not shy with the color that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the puffer, puffer thingy, air mover thing. A flat surface will make a difference as well. So if you've got a table that's tilting a lot at all, the ink will go down to one end. So I highly recommend a flat surface. And now I'm just going to, I do like using this more. And while it's wet, I can add a few more colours here and there. And again, like I said, I'm keeping those colours together that are alongside each other on the colour wheel to make that make it visually pleasing. So I'm not making I'm not making anything that's too muddy. Alright. So I am going for really, really basic techniques here. I'm not overcomplicating it at all. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, you can get some beautiful, beautiful techniques if you are doing, um, say for example, oh, you can use paintbrushes to draw images. You can do all sorts of bits and pieces. So um, now I'm gonna have a bit of a play with some fluoros here. So the fluoros are great. Um, they are, they've got a lovely matte finish and these ones I'm gonna give a really good shape. Apparently all over my hands. Just 
just going to drop those in. So I can pick it up, move it around. I can bring in some more of the blending solution. I can use the heat gun to move it around now. I've got some lines in here which is kind of bugging me a bit. So I think I might add some more blending fluid to keep that more mobile. And you can see, just by me moving the heat gun in all of these different ways, it creates these lovely lines. And that is what gives it a really different, interesting effect, all right? So I'm going to pop that one down. Wipe off my mess. Now, it being an alcohol ink, it does stain your fingers. Uh, if you are a little precious in the hands, with your hands, then I recommend some gloves. Um, I don't have any gloves handy today, but that's okay. So this time I'm gonna use a, a longer, like a more of a slim line. And I'm gonna give all of these ones a really good shake. So these are more fluoros. And I'm going to get a decent amount of blending solution on there and then get these fluoros on. Now the fluoros are super bright, ridiculously bright and they are so pretty. Um, what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to let this one air dry and I'm going to get this colour on. Then I'm going to pick it up. and just get a bit of a tilt to move. Let them naturally move into each other and then I'm gonna pop that aside on the floor to dry. And then I'll do one on Newpo as well. So gloss cardstock can be really, really clever as well. Um, so what happens of course because the ink and the alcohol work together if you are working on a more porous surface so just a normal pattern paper for example or a piece of chipboard or something like that it's just going to soak right in. So this little air puffer is just pushing the air around sorry, pushing the ink around on the page and creating little, it's a lot more delicate than using a heat tool and it's a lot more gentle on, on the direction. If you have arthritic fingers um, or hands, it can be a little difficult to use. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat that at all because it is a, a soft, puffer puffery thing and I'll bring this up to camera in just a moment and because I'm popping them aside to naturally air dry I will be able to show you in just a second how clever they are so you can create some amazing backgrounds and create some really interesting 
pieces that you can then die cut or use in projects. Um, I'm going to do something now with the glitters. So the alcohol inks also come with a, um, you can get the glitter accents as well. So there's the glitter accents and the golden, golden age ones, because you've got the gold glitter through them. So I'm just giving these a really good shake so because all the glitter, as you can see, is all settled in the bottom there. And I have got burgundy, graphite, and burnt sienna here. So three colours that I think that are going to look nice together. And this time I'm just going to put it down on the gloss cardstock, not the Yupo paper. And we're going to see how this looks giving it a really good shake. It's got a ball in it. So I'm just making sure that I get a really good shake. And you can see all of that glitter going on there. the air puffery thingy air blower we're going to call it an air blower at the risk of offending someone we're going to do that so I'm just wanting to get a little bit more of the burnt sienna back on so there's a ton of different colors available in the um, glitter accents as well as the uh, fluoros as well all right oh that's so pretty now once these once these dry dry off i will bring them up to camera without the light on so that you can see without reflection but for argument's sake let's do one here with the blending uh blending card this sorry blending solution and the Yupo. Oh. Got some glitter, I think, blocking this one. Just gonna unblock it with a paper piercer. Oh, there we go. And I'll use my heat tool to blow it around. So I'm just going to pop that one aside to dry. I've got majority of it uh, dry there, but it's very, still very wet. Uh, and I've got two more here that I'll have a quick play with. And then I will get on to showing you how they've dried up and make some cards. Right, let's pop those aside. Um, I've got some metallics here. Metallics can be a little bit different uh, to play with because they have got a, a finish that you know they, they do dry a little bit more oh they kind of they've got like a metallic that sits on top of the alcohol so what i'm going to do is give them a really good shake and i'll show you one with the blending solution and one without and i'm going to use some, a darker color in the background and then uh, put some of the metallics over the top
right. Bit of blue, bit more blue. Now I'm just going to pop in some rose gold. And you can kind of see, I'm just going to see if I can maneuver it around. Where's my air blower gone? I can lighten up the colours on the edges here or darken it up and I can put another drop of colour through the middle. So you can see what's happening is actually sitting on top of the other ink. I was going to bring it up. Um, and it's puddling on there and kind of separating a little. So I'm just going to let that sit aside to dry. And do one more with no other colours, just the, the metals to show you how they look. What have we got here? Champagne. Oh, that's what I might have tonight, a glass of champagne. I have got a ton of blending solution and you can see that just moves straight away. And this one is bronze. But there's also blues and greens and purples. Um, I'm just giving some, using some nice earthy colours here because that is how I am feeling at the moment. A little bit earthy colours. So I can pick it up, move it around, and they all react differently. So the rose gold is the stronger colour this time. Um, I'm going to run it off onto some little pieces of cardstock here. Just going to drop it in there so I'm not wasting them. Oh, it soaks that right in there. Done. 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 So they will work on plain cardstock, but like I said, they do become quite absorbent and they will soak all of that liquid right in really quite promptly. Whereas on the uh, on the synthetic paper, which is the Yupo paper, it will, it will, um, it'll resist and, and move around, which is what, not resist, but it has a bit more fluidity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll do a couple more, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are just little die cuts, because I've done, I've done some pre-die cutting today just to make the next step of putting the cards together much easier. And quicker. All right, so that works for me. So what I'm gonna do is pop these aside um, and then like I said, I've got them sitting in this little container so I don't have to worry about taking lids on and off and fluffing around with it, I can come back to that. I'm just going to push these guys off to the side. They can dry just off camera so that we don't have a big hot mess here any more than normal. And we'll have a look at how things have dried up. Alright, I'm going to turn my light down. 
so that you can see that metallic. So that is using the alloys, okay? Very pretty. And sorry, just getting the other ones off the floor. This is the hot pink one that I did. Again, really pretty. And the first one, which was the blue. And this still needs to be hit with the heat gun. There's still some wet spots on there. So I'm just gonna be aware of putting that down. Oh, they're all still a little, they're all still a little wet. So this is the glitters. And you can see that glitter. The fluoro is like hugely boom, awesome. This one is the fluoro purple and the fluoro blue. And it's got that real matte finish to it, which I do love. And the other one with the strip of metallic through the middle. So I just need to quickly dry these off. So nothing more than adding a little bit of heat tool to it. And you keep your heat moving so that it doesn't melt your paper because the paper is essentially plastic. Nothing like watching paint dry. Oh, excuse me. So it depends on how much liquid you put on as to how quickly it evaporates. Here in this extremely humid Adelaide weather at the moment, um, it's, it's not taking too much time. And this is the large, whoops, sorry. This is the large DL size one that I let air dry. And I'll bring this up to camera in a moment. Because it's just given a really lovely gradual separation, really quite smooth. And then this baby is amazing. This is all sorts of amazing. This is the full glitter on a piece of gloss cardstock. And you can see how very awesome that looks. And then that one got a bit carried away with the metallic. Yes, even I do it, overdo it quite regularly. Okay, let's make something here because uh, all the colours beautiful, but then what do you do with them? I am, uh, I do love a um a circle die so paper rose circle cutting die is my current favorite um quite inexpensive and very very handy i'm sure most of you have got a paper die uh, sorry a circle die or a circle punch in your stash somewhere and what i have done is just pre-cut some six by four card fronts ready to turn into colors um the glitters sorry george has just asked what colors are used with the glitter and that is burgundy burnt sienna and graphite there you go screenshot that Beautiful. All right. Let's get back to that. 
Okay, so what I like to do is really, really simple cards. I've got all of these lovely little elements floating around behind me, but the cool thing here is that. All right, so what I'm going to do is, is that clean? No. Here we go, here is a clean spot, right. Which almost never happens. So, I'm going to just use my, oh that's just annoying, use some glue today to stick on the back. Gosh, even I can't see this. Sorry guys about the camera wobble because I just need to turn the light up so I can see what I'm doing. Bit of glue behind there. Now I'm going to grab this and I'm going to choose the bit that I want to see. There we go. And I'm going to stick that down. Oh, and okay. So when your alcohol ink is not dry, it has soaked right into my cardstock. So that's exactly where I'm going to put my sentiment. Okay. All right. So before I stick down, you, actually, this is still wet as well. And I need to... It's because of this, I know, normally it dries really quick, but today it's not drying really quick. Um, I'm going to use a piece of paper towel and do that. Because I have zero patience for watching paint dry today. Because I've got some cool stuff happening. All right. Oh, I just did a Vicky Booten and sang. Sorry. Not my thing. All right. There we go. I love Vicky Booten, but she can stick to the singing thing. All right. Bit of glue on the back. I've got my circle. Find an area. I like that area. I like the depth there. Pop that aside to dry. One, two, three, I'm going to do four cards. I also want to do a pink one. So let's just stick my paper towel over that to make sure I've got no wet spots this time. Bit of glue or a lot of glue. Stick it on. Let it dry. Do one more. So these are what I call card fronts. I was talking about in my last video today. Um, I my one earlier today. I'm one of these people who would prefer to make a card front rather than a uh, than try and do a, a six by four card. Actually, I quite like this fluoro. Do I like that one? I've only got one more of these cut. Or do I like this one? Oh, I think I like this one. Wet spot there. So they are just sitting aside nicely drying. What I would like to do now is I'm gonna take this sensational piece of love and I used, do I wanna use that one? I used this die cut from Paper Rose, which is a full front cover plate called Slimline Card Creator Number Three and cut it out and how good does that look if I stuck it on there? 
pretty great. Stick it on there. Here's one I prepared a little earlier. Could stick it on there. So let's go with the, let's just stick some glue on. So I'm just gonna concentrate on the frame. Hey Robin, thank you. Are you telling me that I'm awesome today? Great, love that. <laughs> All right, pop that on. Now, rather than squish it down with my hand, which let oh, who knows where that's been, I will use a piece of paper towel and do that, give it some good pressure. Peel it up and pop it aside to dry. And now I will do the same thing with this one and the additional one that I have cut. And then all I need to do is trim them off, uh, find some sentiments, which I have a pile here that I'm going to use. I've got a combination of stickers that I've been saving for a rainy day that are all the wrong color, but that's okay. Hmm? There's no E's. Yeah, there's no E's in anything anymore. And I seem to be running out of A's as well. I'm gonna pop that aside to dry. Done, done, done. So I've got these gorgeous little chevrons. So have a look at that on the back of my hand. Have I got that lined up right? Yeah, so that's just on plain cardstock from the middle of that chevron die. So they're all just sitting there and I could pop those onto a scrapbook layout or whatever, whatever, whatever. Right, let's get into it. Let's not waste any more of your time here. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna trim off this excess card. Highly recommend making sure that that's dry first. Gosh. You know what? I'm going to use scissors because I have already smudge, got a big smudge on that one. So let's do it this way. Let's see if I can. And I can keep these bits here, my offcuts, to run through my die machine to do a title or a sentiment or a word or something that size. I could use it as a decorative element strip for my art journal. Uh, I can do all the things with it. I'm not gonna throw them out. I could turn them into a thank you card. Some of you would have received a, uh, with your orders, a Natalie May scrapbooking um, personalized thank you card. I love that. That one goes down there. So with my demonstration pieces that I quite often do with when we do events like this, um, for those of you who haven't ordered from me before, uh, you will receive a handmade piece of, tiny little piece of art that you can add to your journal or something like that. But the idea is, um, I am grateful for your order and like to give you a little bit of something back. And uh, you will receive just a little, piece, a little piece. So it could be something that I have demonstrated online and cut up and stuck our little our little thank you love on the back. I'm just doing a bit of a border around this because it's just too pretty to cut up. So any so I've used a circle die here. You could easily do 
a square, a triangle, a star. I used to have some star dies. I can't find those. You could use banners, you could use tags. You could cut anything out. If you have a really nice um, punch that will do the inside of a project. All right, so there you go, you could do that. So let's put some label stickers on here now as well. Something to say some words. Now I have got quite a vast collection of stickers and alphabets and words and bits and pieces that I have been collecting forever and ever. I've got these weird little yellow hellos and smiles that don't really go with anything. So what I like to do with them, get that out of the way. What I like to do when I have a word like this is colour it in with a black permanent texture because black generally goes with everything. Well, in my wardrobe it does anyway. Uh, and now I have something to go on a page. So I have a happy, uh, hello and this one says smile but it's in some weird grey so this is how I change it. So another thing actually that I, I want to tell you, if you have some rhinestones that or um, some sparkly glitter things that are not quite the right colour or these things here which I happen to have in front of me glass domes so these little glass domes which you can actually buy these from you can buy these online in the embellishments category we do a packet like this size here you can make them any colour that you like so if I pop some green over it with alcohol ink what's going to happen is it's going to stay that color so i will do that because it will stick to glass there you go and i'm just going to pop those aside and let them air dry and uh in a moment i'll put them where i won't forget about them i will be able to use them um all right let's go with where's my knife where's my knife where's my knife Let's make an organized mess here because this is killing me. So this would make a great, you know, this is a really good die for a boy's card. Um, I'm gonna go that way. And I've got some Art by Marlene stickers here. So, oh, by the way, Art by Marlene products are still on special. So they are still 15% off until Sunday. Uh, so we just, there's, there's plenty of bargains, including a lucky dip. So, so you can choose like a, a here we go. Do I want it in black? Oh, well, too bad. Uh, okay, I could give up shopping. But I am not a quitter. Hmm. So this, I would now mount this on a piece of black cardstock. Put a black frame all the way around because I've used a black word. And then that would make a, a great card. Uh, let's go with this one here. We could make that a vertical. But I'm going to go with another horizontal card because I really quite like that. Uh, I've got some other ones here. Do I want black letters or do I want to go with white? Oh, you know what I've also got that I've had for a very long, 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 long time, and I'm sure everybody has in their stash. Some Heidi Swap letters, they work. If you've got some uh, alphas, some, some sticker sheets, some thickers with some great words on them, don't hesitate to... Oh, that's pretty. So these have come out of my 
well well groomed stash we'll call that how good's that um let's go back to these guys here I don't even know if these are still sticky. Oh, hang on, here we go. Oh, this has got bits in it too. Didn't think this through, did I? Oh, massively frustrating. Just chat amongst yourself for a minute here, guys, while I argue over this I'm committed to it but I've got to take the bits out because you can't have the bits you know the bits in the middle it's very annoying Two. I could have done this off camera beforehand but no no I would rather watch you have you watch me struggle doing it because that's how it works so there's no reason why if you have some stickers left some weird words or some weird colored alphas color them yourself oh note to self let's not use that again all right i'm going to stick that over the top here like that and hope it's in the middle <laughs> nailed it okay eventually and I'd make that glossy with some glossy accents. So that one's done. Quickly, we'll whip through this. That's annoying. I need to stick a butterfly there. So that's how we solve all the world's problems. Uh, let's stick a pretty phrase on this one. My winter fat is finally gone. I now have spring rolls. Right. Wow. That's So I do love some funny sticker sheets. Uh, here we go. Don't wait for your, don't wait for your dream to happen, chase it. So that's way too big, okay? So how do we solve that problem? We find the scissors on my desk and we cut it in half. Kate, oh thanks darling. Um, Kate, I'm just touching, Kate's just commented saying uh, how clever the cards are. Um, I, I thank you very much. Um, you can do so much with alcohol inks. It is, you're only limited by your imagination, okay? Bam, love that. Um, only limited by your imagination, meaning you, you don't have to... You don't have to nail it every single time, but you're going to learn more by trying, trying new things, okay? You, oh. um, you're gonna learn more by giving it a go. Just breathe across that one, and we'll just have to cut that off or stick a butterfly or something on that one because I've got a smudge. And last but not least, we're gonna stick a little happy on this one, or a big happy as the case may be. Can go on the top, can go down there. I do like it when it goes over the top of the circle. I think that's a really cool effect. So here's my little dots I did before. Okay, can you see how clever they look on the back of my hand? So you can make those, any glass domes, any colour that you like, really, really, really easily. Uh, here's, here's a couple that I did earlier. How am I going for time? Oh, laughing. Um, so I could use these little chevrons. that are dipped in the excess 
paint. Oh no, I haven't. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. To, to do a boy's card, okay? It's coloured the paper like a weird sort of dirty colour, but the um, metallic sitting on top. So there you go. All right, that's all I'm going to show you today. I could spend hours and hours and hours doing this, but um, I've got jobs to do around here. So, uh, and I have to get prepared for the next live Facebook. So just to recap, here are some of the cards that we have made using alcohol ink backgrounds. Keeping it super simple, we have gone with uh, metallics and blues and glitters and fluoros. We have got standard size cards, we've got slimline cards here. This blows my mind. Like... It looks holographic and that is just on just using the three colors from the glitter alcohol inks and finally the fluoro so in the slim line and it's just using a couple of dyes so not overthinking it just just putting it out there and then these little guys here are these little guys here are just created by Popping it onto just a clear dome with a drop of alcohol ink on it just to colour it to suit. It's that easy. All right. You will gain more by trying something new and whether it works or it doesn't, you've, you've, you're not going to... Oh, I might have finished my yellow. Oops. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, so you can just play, 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 play. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au. We have got all of the alcohol inks and also acrylic paints on special until the end of today. So they are 15% off. And um, you can use the no judgment postage if you have already placed an order. Postage is $12.50 or if it is your second, third or twelfth order, we have no judgment. We also have some fantastic show bundles available. Uh, we've got some Minte chipboard at 20% off. We've got some sustainable wood shapes um, at a massive, massive discounted price. We have got some 6x8 books down to $10 each from Minte as well as all the Art by Marlene products at 15% off. I look forward to seeing you guys all back here at 4 o'clock for the last live Facebook of today and to also share some very, very, very exciting news um, that I have been keeping under my hat and announcing something new for Natalie May scrapbooking. So make sure you come back here today at 4 o'clock. If not, we'll see you um, a little later. Wash your hands, kiss your kids. Catch you later.